Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So as you already know by the title of this video that it is going to be about bleaching the hair and then dyeing it. So let's start by preparing the bleach mixture. I am going to use sparks and streaks lighting powder along with a 40 volume developer. So the consistency should be something like this. It shouldn't be too grippy or it shouldn't be too thick so something like this. So now I will be parting my hair in 5 sections. So those 5 sections will be 2 on the back, 2 on this top part and then 1 section in the middle that I will be taking it out like this. So let's do it. Let's start with the application of the bleach. So as you can see I am going with thin feather like strokes just to make sure there is no harsh line between the virgin hair and the area in which I am applying the bleach. And even though I will be bleaching all my hair starting from the roots we need to always keep in mind that roots process faster. So I am going to touch them the last. Just making sure to put the bleach on both sides of the hair. And once that is done, we are going back to the roots and applying the bleach there. Now making sure that there are no spots left, we will just go with the leftover bleach over these spots. So this is how the overall situation is as of now. Uh, as you can see that few of the places have already starting to lighten like this area because this is the place where we applied it first. And uh, also these, uh, this part was the part where the bleach was applied last. So this one won't lighten as much as the back. That is what I want. And I know the application wasn't the best. I don't want Brad Mondo to come for me. He'll die if he watches this application. But whatever this works for me, do what works for you best. This technique is tried and tested on my head. So I don't mind going in with this technique. Also, I can see some lightning happening over here in this area. So um, it has been the overall application period has been of 20 minutes. And I'll wait for another 20 minutes and see uh, what is happening, what shade I have uh, gone to. And then I'll decide whether I want to wash it off or whether I want to wait more. Also, we have applied uh, foils only on the ends because that is where I want the most lightning. And that is why I wanted to have this uh, heated movement there. So, uh, and I've just left all of this open because I've used 40 volume developer. So that is going to lighten really quick. Okay guys, so it has been 45 minutes since the bleach has been on my hair. And you can see it has lightened quite a bit. So now I am just going to take out the foils, the clips. So you can see this part has really lightened quite a bit. Whereas this one has just turned to green. So now I'll just go wash my hair and then be back. Are you ready for it? It is looking insane. Not in a good way. It is looking some next level crazy. Not gonna lie. Here it is. It has lightened beautifully according to my standards. Well, it's a bit of a cold. So that is how it is looking. A bit dry, not gonna lie. Really need to put in some conditioning back. So yeah, that was the update after the bleach. I will get on with the coloring tomorrow i bleached my hair yesterday and this is the result 
and now I am going to dye them using these two shades from Sparks which is Purple Passion and Magenta Mania. So yeah that's about the color and uh, firstly I will be applying some Johnson's baby oil on my forehead and across any skin that might have chances of getting the dye on it. This is how dark the purple dye is. So I'm kind of like just uh, eyeballing the proportions. This is what I do every time because I'm no professional. I think I'll be going in the ratio of 2 is to 1 wherein uh, 2 is purple and then 1 is pink. So this is how the mixture is looking. Just gonna mix it up real nice. This is what the consistency is like. Also with the Sparks hair color, we don't need to mix any developer. It's just like out of the box dye. So yeah. So the plan is to put the dark purple dye on the roots and then starting downwards uh, while we reach the tip, uh, I'm going to be mixing conditioner just to dilute the dye. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Uh, fingers crossed, I'm hoping for the best. And yeah, let's call my mom in because she's gonna be dyeing my hair. Let's start applying the color. As you can see, we are going in from the roots and making sure that each strand is covered from both the sides, that is over and under, making sure there are no spots left. Now once we were done with the application of the dye on the roots and across half the length of the hair, we mixed in some conditioner to dilute the dye. This helps in achieving different shades of the dye which results in a more dimensional look. So guys the dyeing process is done. So this is how it is looking as of now. So what we did was uh, we applied the saturated dye from the roots and then going to the tips. We added on conditioner just to dilute the dye so that there is not as much intensity with the color. I'll just wash it out after like uh, two or three hours and then I'll get back with the results. This turned out so good. I cannot believe it. Hello. So this is how the color turned out. I am super happy and super excited that it turned out this way. This is the brightest and the boldest shade I've ever had on my head. I mean, it is so visible and out there. And okay, well, that is it. Let's move on to the informative part. I don't want this video to be long because I'm putting a lot of things in this video at once. Okay, so the first thing that I told beforehand that you need to plan your dyeing process because this is what happens. I get these dye on the scalp every damn time. Like there is no getting away from this. So yeah, as you can see, well, there is nothing to worry about it. After the second wash, it is gonna go away. But if there was an event that I had to attend today, I would have had to make peace with it. Now coming on to the second major point, that is how the dye actually looks like in the bowl and then how it turns out on your hair. Now remember how the top part, basically the roots of my hair, they were really like yellowish, orangish, basically brown with orange undertones. So you can see that the purple that is on the top part is quite warm. It has quite warm undertones, whereas going downwards to the tip, it is quite cool. So this one came out quite close to how it looked like in the bowl, but then this one is definitely different. Also, the third major point, never make your hair of one exact color. Never like that is a big no, no. So as you can see, I have some different shades of purple going here and there. So what it does is it adds dimension to your hair. So they are not looking flat of just one single color. Also, another point that I wanted to put out there is that this is my hair in its natural state. I haven't styled it or I haven't put any styling serum or any product in it. I just wanted to put it out there how the hair actually looks after this whole process and the whole treatment. This is how the color looks in one single setting. Uh, I would just want you guys to see a few more settings. This is how it looks with more light. And then this is how it looks with just one studio light, just one ring light. 
so i hope you found this video informative i tried and put in as much information as i could and make the video concise uh, because i have been asked this question so many times on how i color and bleach my hair that i thought that it was definitely time that i just sat down and recorded it and i hope i did justice to all the questions that i have been often asked if there is anything else that i probably left and you want to know just comment down below and i'll definitely get back to you regarding that question and yes that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i'll meet you in the next video until then bye